Hi dear viewers and my dear student, welcome to my channel Science and Vigyan. This is the part B of the previous video. In the previous video, we discuss about in silico tools and the web server for predicting the toxicity of the compact. Fine. <coughs> If you haven't watched the earlier video, you can open my channel. There is one playlist, Computer Ready Drug Design. You can open that playlist and check all the in silico videos. Fine. In the last video, we discussed about organ toxicity. Now we explore some other models. So I don't want to waste the time. You can take one notebook and write down important key features so that you can operate it later also. Today we will discuss and we will uh, calculate toxicity endpoint. So we start with carcinogenicity, amino toxicity, mutagenicity, cytotoxicity. If you have any doubt about any parameter, feel free to contact me. Okay. Today we will proceed with this antibiotic only tamoxifen. If you don't know how to draw the structure, you can check my video QSAR for the beginner. I have already uploaded the structure there. Uh, like how you can draw the structure, how you can convert the name into structure using ChemDraw. Here simply we can draw with these tools. In the part one, I have discussed in detail how you can draw the structure. Today we will proceed with the tamoxifen only. I just click every uh, endpoint, toxicity endpoint and I start with toxicity predictions. In the toxicity prediction as I already mentioned about endpoints in that they will tell about that even uh, you can see in the result they have shown you LD50 also. If you want to develop the QSAR for any unknown compound, you can calculate or you can predict LD50. After prediction, you can determine LD50 with the help of YOSA. And this is all about the QSAR or QSSS study in that we compare predicted and the observed one or the obtained from from the bio assay and the toxicity of tamoxifen is 4 again we have physical chemical parameters like molecular weight number of hydrogen bond donor number of hydrogen bond acceptor number of atom number of bond number of irritable bond molecular effectivity topological polar surface area and octanol water partition coefficient in the next video, I will tell how you can develop the QSR with the help of these parameters only. So guys, this is a free software, free web server. Only you have to draw the structure on your notebook. After that, you can draw the same on the website and obtain their physical chemical property. With the help of physical chemical property, we can develop the QSR. Fine. Even uh, here, uh, similarity and the prediction accuracy is 100%. You can see. The method is accurate and after that they compare input compound with the data set compound they give the comparison of the molecular weight and the dose volume this uh, dose value and this is our toxicity model toxicity model report in this, we discuss about these four endpoints only. If we, dis uh, if we talk about tamoxifen, carcinogenicity is inactive. It is not cancerous. It is an antibiotic. Mutagenicity, uh, again inactive. And cytogenicity is inactive. Only amino toxicity. In that it is active one. Fine. So with the help of this information, we can decide which type of compound we are supposed to synthesize in the future. Fine. 
when you write down any content from this web server don't forget to acknowledge this website and you can mention in the acknowledgement creative common attribution non commercial license this is not commercial this is for the educational purpose fine this is for the toxicity endpoint now we'll uh, do with the signal pathways so i just go to back okay this is a signaling pathway or what what i believe i can start with the all and select if you want that i'll uh, do the in silico study for your compound feel free to send your compound to me my email id is farmerward@gmail.com it is mentioned in my channel also you can contact me through facebook and insta also in the facebook i have a post uh, close group that is a cat you can join that and take a advantage of all the free lenses even uh, there are the number of person who work on the uh, on the charge charge basis also they can design your project depend upon your choice okay i'll select all again i start with the toxicity predictions it will take time yes now it is on again this information is same as the compound is same tamoxifen if you want i can proceed with a new compound also feel free to contact me guys if you have any kind of doubt i am very happy to solve the problem still it will take time calculating calculating uh, as uh, now we we have to, uh, we need to have more information about the drug or uh, i can say that we are deeply discussing the toxicity of the compound or we go, uh, we do the toxic toxicological profiling of the drug in short there are two two type of toxicity acute and chronic in that we discuss it yes uh, it doesn't take too much time it take was one minute only now we can tell the tamoxifen the uh, the active prediction is amino toxicity and this is a prob uh, probability again it is active against aromatase as we know it is also used as anti cancer aromatase is uh, anti cancer target then it is also active against estrogen receptor alpha then proxy proximos no per oxisome proli proliferator activity receptor gamma, gamma it is not active in that, uh, this it it is active in estrogen receptor ligand binding domain after that there is a mitochondrial membrane potential again inactive in all so we can do uh, the prediction in uh, like from the prediction we conclude that the compound are uh, one thing okay the compound are active against aromatase estrogen receptor alpha estrogen receptor ligand binding domain and amino toxicity for rest they are inactive and some somewhat they have a patotoxicity also okay this is all about qualitative estimation fine uh, part 1 and part 2 exclusively i discuss about the qualitative assessment of the toxicity of the drug how we can tell the uh, given compound is toxic or not if it is toxic uh, which type of toxicity it generate in the next video i'll tell you how you can do the quantitative estimation or quantitative toxicity profiling of the drug for the uh, quick notification don't forget to press the bell icon and if you feel these videos are very useful please like and share the video thank you so much
I am grateful to teach you guys. Thank you so much. Happy learning. God bless you. Uh, especially it is a oral toxicity prediction result. One thing more complete. I'll I want to show you your radar chart also. This is a radar chart. You can include this radar chart in your uh, thesis also in your paper also. This is the ready reckoner information. Orange one is average for the active molecule and the blue one is for the tamoxifen. Again, uh, whatever the parameters are in the table, it is mentioned the same here. J uh, you can uh, save it or print it and put it into your thesis. Fine. This session is over. Thank you so much. Happy learning. God bless you. Thank you.